Hello. Hi. I keep trying to do this without videos, without editing. I'm doing a Hobby Lobby haul. I just did one for Disney. If you wonder what happened, I ran out of space. Then I looked through. I had done a lot of videos and I hadn't deleted them. I didn't even realize I hadn't deleted them. So hopefully you can see me okay. It's not about me. Um, I got my little light over here so it can kind of, but I didn't want to be right in the light. I was trying to not get all the shadows and stuff and all the reflections. I don't wear, these are readers, and I don't wear glass for risk. I don't really invest a lot of money to have a no, no glare like I do for my daughter. And I was going to use this here, but I didn't want y'all seeing me squinting. This is a necklace. I got it off of Amazon. I forgot who, who it was from because I wasn't going to talk about this. But it's a pair of readers, and I wear it in the store, and I'm able to look and check out the prices and stuff. So, let me um see how we're going to do this light. So, I want y'all to see my, I know I'm dark, and then I got these dark cushions. Hello, I'm talking like I'm from England. So, look, I'm going to um start this video talking about the eats at Hobby Lobby. This is um a lemon pepper seasoning. And they said it's, it's, are they saying it's so free? Oh, well, I guess pepper is so free. <laughs> This is originally $5.99 and it's on sale for $3.59. So I'm gonna try it. My husband likes those lemon pepper wings. I'm gonna just try it and see. He likes the hot spot. I don't know if he'll like Catherine's spot. Now this, I mean this jar is too cute. Too cute. Look at that shape. This is called um what is it called? Orange Blossom Honey. And if you if y'all have watched this Braswells, but it's so cute. And they have one called Tea Time Honey also. But I got this one because it was like orange blossom. Sounds like it'll be good. And then you um you push that to open and it unseals it. Y'all, I gotta taste this now. I'm not a big honey person, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm the only one gonna consume this. So don't worry about oh I'm spreading germs. I am the only one in my family. <laughs> That's gonna consume it. Tastes like honey. But it does taste good. Um, what I use it for is when I do a detox, I have a celery drink. I get four stalks of celery, wash them up, put them in a the juicer, and you add honey, a tablespoon of honey, and then you add water to make it a full cup. And what I used to do is put an ice in it and shake it. <laughs> you know, put it in a shaker. And for some reason with that ice in it, I can go on. Tuk, tuk, tuk. I'm drinking so many now, sometimes I crave it. And that's, you know, when stuff good. When you're craving the stuff you don't think would be good for you that you don't like. Okay. So, Hobby Lobby. They have the Disney stuff on sale. And then the jewelry shop. That section of the store. A lot of this resin stuff is on sale so if you've been waiting like i've been waiting or just shopping i'll be living but you know i know everything goes on sale once i found out designer clothes go on sale because i didn't think they did i was like oh everything goes on sale now if raf lauren goes on sale oh i forgot this one this is a garlic rosemary oil or they have a another garlic oil extra virgin oil and all this one is for four seventy nine. So if you're one of those people and you've been waiting for this to go on sale or you just wanted to try it, now is probably as good a time as any. So I got those three. And I'm really gonna try. I'm gonna use all of them. Because um they had a barbecue sauce that we use here at the house. It was it's really good. Um the vinaigrettes for the dress and salad dressings, um, they were alright. But I, I was like, I can use the containers for something later. But that um, these, yeah, they'll be used up in no time. It's going to take a little bit for the lemon pepper, but, you know, we're going to use them. So it's not like they're going to sit here. Okay, so let me show you some of the stuff that we got here that I got. All right, so this is this. i got to get my camera angle right. Okay. 
So this is these little glitters that you can put in your UV resins. Can you see that price? $6.99 and then we get it for $174. Now for good size bottles, these bottles are about an inch and a half high and even after you finish using them and getting the material out, you still can use them to store more material. Then we got I don't know which way to go so much. Um, we got these bezels or frames. They were $7.99. And then we got them here for $1.99. There's a heart that you can use to make earrings. You see when it has that little thing there in there, you can make earrings. Or I'm trying to get the glare and get my face out of double because you see me here and then I can see the glare of me. Um... You can use these to make earrings. Now, if you're a pace person who's impatient, you can get two of these. The price is $1.99. But if we're in a kind, sharing mood, what we'll do is we'll get one so that somebody else can get them a set. I just talked to myself and told myself, don't do that. So I'm going to be kind. And I'm not going to go back and get another. Because basically when you do the resin, because I have done some of these and I made some pretty purple hearts. I didn't do much with them, but I did make them. But um, they, 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 they come out really quick. You get your UV light. I got a UV light that was for putting on nail polish. I don't have not one drop of nail polish on my, on my nails. Well, on my toes, yeah, but not on my fingers. But anyway, it's a real quick setup. It doesn't even take about a minute or so underneath the UV light and so I'm not gonna go get a second one if somebody else chooses to I can't I can't talk y'all and then not get them maybe but I talk myself out of it I'm gonna share I mean because I did get all those other cords for those braces but I'm gonna get them to so a bunch of little girls maybe they'll be happy okay this was originally $6.99 and now it's four dollars and look like it's four dollars and 24 cents and there are 16 you see we got the four going down and the four across and these are well okay <laughs> you all are looking at this and you're thinking oh yeah i'm gonna put it in my jewelry and my resin and stuff like that my first thought is oh yeah well, i can use these on nails so it's kind of the same thing so if you can't get this from here you know you can always go to sally's and sometimes they have a bunch of these on sale so I got those and a bunch of this stuff. And then those pearls, you can find those everywhere at Walmart. You know what? I forgot to look at something else today while I was there. But anyway. I can't supposed to be talking to you about this. Now if you're into steampunk, here are the different little corkscrews and the stuff that they usually use. Odds and ends and bolts and stuff that um, are usually associated with that. I do like steampunk stuff, I have to say. I like that. $6.99 and now it's $174. I like it so much at one time I was thinking about, you know, when people do comic cons and all that stuff and they do the dress up and cosplay and stuff. I was thinking about maybe doing sewing for people and helping them get custom costumes. But, um,. When you're doing that sewing for people, you have to do a really strict contract because people don't understand sewing. They're thinking it's molding, like you're molding fun and you can mold it completely to the body. But you have to give people ease in order to move, to sit down. You know how you see the dresses now? They show some of the celebrities and they're in the back of the car. People in wedding dresses in the back of the car laying straight because they don't understand design and how the body needs room to bend, to sit to move, to breathe, to eat, and have room for that. And so they want people to design it fitting, like skin tight or painted on their bodies. And so they have to lean back so they don't bend. So this here is a classic design that we've seen. I think a Pac-Man. I can't believe I did that on camera. Okay, so the price was originally $7.99, and now it's a dollar and... 29 cents and all i can say is i mean, i just really want to get busy right now right now right now i'm doing some stuff but it's late and so after i do these videos i'm gonna clean up and then get 
to going upstairs so I can head toward cleaning up up there and clean myself and get in the bed. Because I got to get up tomorrow for work. I probably won't get up at 6 um, to be there at 6 o'clock tomorrow. I might just lay a little bit. Okay, this is $7.99. And we're getting it for $1.99. And up here, I don't know if they're just naming this Hope. But they got hope and love. Well, they didn't read First Corinthians and do faith, but love is the greatest. But hey, you got a leaf in there. You got several leaves, two leaves, a flower, some other hearts, hope. I'm ready to make this right now. Ooh, I'm ready to make it right now. So you can either make that into a necklace or a pair of earrings. I'm not trying to turn to I'm turning to the side trying to get some of the glare out so you could actually see um what it is. They put a lot of this stuff is on sale. A lot of it. Let me keep with the resin thing. Now this is cute. It took me I mean I looked at it and I said what I said oh oh okay 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 so what I like is the butterfly wing um and they got to me those are flourishes they may be something um, um, look like knots, you know, like if you were to do different types of knots. Uh, it's not a true mandala. This one looked like it's sideways and like it could be a tree of life, but I don't know for sure. And you know, this is that classic teardrop or leaf that we've been with well, teardrop, but there are a lot of people have been using it to make um earrings and let me just tell you if you're one of those people and you want those teardrops those fabric leather teardrop full leather teardrops they got them on sale i'm not her so i did not buy any i have a few leaves i gotta say i, I was succumb to the pressure i was like i don't want that i could i could make that i could make i mean we could all make that and it was such a popular shape and so many people bought it so it was, i mean i missed a, a good opportunity that I could have had it as a money maker, but I just missed that one. I was just, I was, I was anti it. <laughs> okay, so this here is, was, um, now this isn't with the rest of them, but you really can use them in your shakers. It's $17.99, and I got it for $4.49. And there were two, and I started to get both, but I said, no, 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 share cat. Share, share cat. Okay, but they got some purple in here, and blue and green that's mostly what they got those um, marine type colors can you see it I don't know if you can get the true color because how I'm sitting it's, it's dark I'm dark everything right here is dark but oh and they come in their individual they come in this case then they come in this individual case so you don't lose everything so you got to weigh a three across three up in, in a row and four cross. So we got a good little bit of design. It's so pretty. But they're beads now. But you can use them in your shakers. Um so much fun. I had so much fun getting these things. And I'm not finished. Because I still grab some more some more of these dyes. Now, I didn't see this one before. And um, it was originally $13.99, and we're getting it for $3.49. Wow. Now, you know, you ladies, see, I wasn't a lady. I wasn't doing stamping a card making back when you all were getting the stamps and all that Martha Stewart stuff. And I saw all that stuff, and I was fascinated by it. But I was like, I'm just really not going to scrapbook or use that, you know, for like, well, for a while, truth be told, I couldn't have children. I was having difficulty having children and so what you making scrap books for if <laughs> you're not gonna put little baby pictures in there i want to put my old pictures in there so anyway i wouldn't buy those things but this here i'm getting into it a little more now and so this here is basically your new age um well newer than that but they're pricing these out because a lot of times now you can get svgs and download them onto your computer or use clip art or I'm guessing they still call it clip art. You can get it downloaded from your computer and um, put it into your cutters. I have a scanning cut. I now have a 
the Cricut mug press. Or you can just scan those into those things and print them out and cut them. And so you just almost like all the dye stuff that you had, you don't even really need it. So why am I buying it? Because some of these here are, like this one, it does have a 3D thing. I do like that about it. And, but this is, I like the shape. I do. And I'm got to, I got to check to make sure that I didn't buy this the, this before. And it was $14.99 and we got it for $3.74. But I like the shape and I can use this on the edges for my cards that I've been making. This, I saw this today, and at first I wasn't enthused, but then I thought, okay, let me let you see it like this first. It was $26.99, and now it's down to $6.74. But I started looking at it, and I was like, well, you know what? They're talking about these, um, what do y'all call them, slimline cards, right? Envelopes and cards. And I was like, this technically is that. I can use my envelopes, if I don't even want to make a card, I can use my envelopes put this in just like this and stamp it out and do whatever I want or as they show you can take out the individuals which well <laughs> I'm not vanna yet y'all <coughs> excuse me why do we call for when we get on camera I don't know because I'm not talking all day I talk when I get here with you all because everybody's not back at work yet we all go in one day a week and you alternate goes they do but yeah so you got these three different shapes and you can put them inside the thin slim line or you can take them out really they're what they're supposed to be is Christmas balls you see that up there <laughs> these you're supposed to make them like into the, the Christmas baubles well they say a circle kaleidoscope slim line so I wonder if they're going to show me how to make a card. I don't need them to. I know how to do it. We'll get it done. I saw somebody, one of you, had this and talked about it. And I was, because I saw it and I was not enthused. See, it was, I had it the wrong way. It was $24.99 and now it's $6.24. Spellbinders. You know, we all got a bunch of their stuff. They make all the money off of us. So thanks for the discount, Spellbinders. But it has, um, you make the card and it has the little flips. And then when you flip it up, you can see um, that it'll say, Happy Birthday to you or such and such and like that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I like the simplicity of it. It's cute. Okay. I, look, I'm sinking. <laughs> Look like my light is sinking. My husband's gonna get off work and he's gonna be like, wow, she's been doing her thing. I've been doing my thing, y'all. This is another one. It was originally $22.99 and now it's $5.74. And I thought it's just cute. If y'all could see my computer screen, I can't even describe what it is, but that's what it reminds me of. Like claymation type stuff. And then this one. It's $19.99 and it was, I got it for $4.74. I'm kind of liking it because it's kind of looking like a quilt. And they show it done like this. I will probably do some other things too. That's not bad because it makes it, it does look like a quilt and look like a argyle. So yeah, I'm just noticing kind of, I guess that they made it look like an argyle. But, um, the Argyle sweater. In case you like me and didn't see that at first. But, um, yeah. I was thinking quilts because I have some other stamps I got. Um, because I start buying those expensive, um, books that they get from England. Alright, so I showed you all the food, the stamps, the rest and stuff. So, I'm just going to give you all a little quickie. On some of the stuff I've been doing because I keep telling myself I put myself on punishment I can't go buy and just keep buying stuff if I'm gonna buy stuff I have to use it so I've been buying a lot of stuff and I just haven't used it and some of it is not not desire it's just um right out of time you know you're if you're not cooking you're going to get dinner 
shopping because I got girls and they're going through the body change thing, teenagers. So they're getting bumps and lumps, lovely lady lumps. And so I have to go make sure things fit, that they're appropriate, getting their hair done, um, making sure they do their classwork because they're smart girls, want to keep them smart, making sure, you know, every all is well in their lives. Then I'm married. You know, he's self-sufficient, but I'm married, so we have to spend time together. And that's not, I'm not complaining about any of it. And, you know, I gotta go food shopping, all of that. And then sometimes I gotta go do my thing. So, ta-da! This is where I come in, y'all. So this is where I get my joy. And I coupon. And I didn't know they were doing videos on couponing because I kept editing my like, I'm gonna watch that. But I start watching them and now that coupon is because COVID's over. That's what they said today. So anyway, you know we bought these, right? These Sizzik dies. And I was like, I don't really need it because I got the Crafters Companion. That purple thing where you can make the envelopes and the cards and all that stuff. And I got plenty, you know, because we bought them all from Hobby Lobby and Michaels. And so you all know the room of these here. We showed them $34.99 and I got them for $8.74. This is the card that actually fits in here. And that's the labeling. So, I said... I can't buy anything else until I start, you know, do something. So what I did, now these got to meet glue. But I made some labels. And I'm alternating. Plus I got to use my paper. This paper I bought. And showing you all that I bought it and stuff and, and haven't used it. So I got this here for the labels. Can you see the colors? Do I need to move this? That's my scanning cut over there in that corner. And some gifts that I gotta take to some people. <laughs> but here's the the label that would go on this card. And I haven't glued it, but you all see. And then here's a card. And this is all so I, I did what I said I, I need to do. So see that's the card, that's the envelope. And here's the card. And so, I went to my sister's party and I gave her an a card with an envelope. And I had, it was a card I had for her years ago and I hadn't, hadn't given it to her. I was like, here you go, but you know me, I had no envelope, but here you go, here's some money. <laughs> so, anyway, I did these so I can be ready next time because it was her and my nephew. I mean, I had some cards. I had some cards because y'all know we haven't been to Tuesday morning and we got cards from there. So this is another one I did. This is the same colors I did the pink and periwinkle. Here's the label and here's a card. But with this one, I didn't do that insert that was in there to make this little design right there. I took that out and I didn't use that one at all. So I was just playing around. Like I said, this isn't something I per se was, I guess, really concerned about getting into doing because I didn't even know it existed. But I was like, oh my God, if I ever find any of this stuff and it exists, I'm going to be that girl that does it. So I had some fall paper. So I did these. And I did these too because I'm going to um, do a. I had done this years ago. I, I did these four pumpkins. And I did the different size, like my husband, the tall, the slim one. I'm the fat, round one. Did a little small ones for my girls. And then, you know, named them and said the Craigs. And so I want to do um, the pumpkins on that. I just didn't get around. I was up like 3 o'clock Saturday night. Not because I had to, but I was just had a little burst of energy. Now, this is a card. I know how we get them. I got this, um, the last Christmas one that they discounted probably earlier this year. So I got this one. Now I thought, and see this why I gotta start opening up stuff. So if you if I don't have it, I know I need to get it. I thought it came with a die for joy to the joy. Joy to the world. I thought that was in there. I thought the pancetas and all of this trimming was in there. No. This is it. And it's looking like that because I got a piece of paper in there. And I did do this, and yeah, I love it. It feels, this is just regular typing paper. But it made it feel so velvety and just nice. And it's pretty, and then you could even use this cutout for something, labeling or whatever. And so, um, 
I really liked it, but I put it through my craft companion yarn. And let me just tell you, okay, I didn't put the plates in right. I'm learning. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff that I'm learning, but that's the type of person I am. So I put it in there. It wasn't going through. It was just making all kinds of noise. It's like, oh, Lord, I just bought this thing. I'm going to tear it up. So I was like, pull it out, pull it out. I stopped it and pull it out. Tried different things. When I finally got to go through, it went through there. And I don't know if it's because that died, but it flew out the other side. It could have knocked over my little cabinet. I got a little cabinet over here. Um... That got one of whatnots. It's a dollhouse. I don't know if y'all saw that. It's glass, glass, glass. It got dollhouse, but I got little tea sets and little whatnot dolls and stuff in there. And um, yeah, I was like, Lord, don't tear up my stuff. So it did, but ooh, it scared me. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna have to come down here with you with um protection. <laughs> so then I had this one. And I was like, I went through um, and grabbed my Christmas dies. I thought I had them in one place and I had them in another place. You know those pretty boxes they have off Hobby Lobby? I put them in one of those so that I can keep up with some of my Christmas dies and stuff together, like ink pads and stuff. So I had this one. And I was like, I want something brighter. So, like I told y'all, the glue didn't meet the paper. But here we go. Shimmy, shimmy, shine, shine, purple and green. I did that. So it's not, it's not glued. So I'm just showing you what I did. So it's a very Merry Christmas. And that's what the little thing was on there. And then I did this one. And on this one, this is how, this is how the card, I didn't make it up. They didn't put a background card or anything. And I didn't put glue on it yet. But what happens is, these two meet like this. They don't have glue yet, and I don't know how to go opposite for my camera sake to show y'all, but this is how it is. And then this, these here will cross up here, the star. And then you open it up. And then when you open it up, this is not gonna stay. But um, I got in green another one to have a very Merry Christmas. And so, and that's what this does. So, just a quick show that hey, before I allow myself to do it, I or go buy something else, I um actually did some of the designs. And like this is these. I don't know if you remember these from back some time ago. This was when I really, really started some years ago. And um. Let's see. Well, here it is. It's the one of them has some deer on it, so it's around here somewhere. So I cut this out, and then I cut the this deer out in the brown. And see, and so I can put that in the car. It's not cut right. I know it's not cut right, but I can fix it up and put it on something and shape it up. Cause I was just trying. I was just cutting out stuff. I was like, I'm just gonna do something. I gotta show I'm doing something. So this is one of those that came with this. Like I said, you could do these. Well, this isn't the right shape. This is this shape for that. And then this shape for this. So this one has the nativity. And it has like the shine, the R, the super. And so what I did with that was I put the cards over here so I could show you all. Well, the cars that we bought. Remember those cars? And I'm saying it's like we were all together shopping. And we kind of were, but we weren't. Excuse me. We're getting so close in the camera. Remember these cars that we just bought? Yeah, I remember. We just got these the other day. Because I'm still watching some of your videos and you're talking about them. And they were twelve ninety nine, and then we got them for $3 and something. So, this is one of these cars. And I took this die. What I did was I took a piece of um, washi tape because I didn't even know what washi tape. And I'm like, why are people always buying washi tape and organizers? What do you even do with it? I know it's tape, but what do you do with it? Now I didn't know it's a low-tack tape that you use for your dies. So I, I had to make sure I had it lined up correctly, and it did a good job. I have to say so myself. I put washi tape across the bottom. Then I put this on top of it, and then I put some more washi tape run it through the machine and voila and look at that 
I mean, that 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 that's amazingly good. And my husband, he's not in arts and crafts at all. Does not care about this stuff no more than dealing with me. And he was like, "Wow, that is good." He's telling me now he'll go help me set up a booth at all these places, these fairs and festivals and stuff that I take him on. He said, "I'll go help you sell some stuff because." You got some good looking stuff thanks to Hobby Lobby and then stuff and Crafters Companion. So I had this old one too. And well, the ones that I just showed you all, like these kits and stuff. So I used the one, these 3D cards. Okay, they had one away in the manger. And that was one of the that was the first solo I ever sang was Away in the Manger. So I had to get that. And yeah, my sister was supposed to do a was supposed to be a duet, and she um, wouldn't come up, and so I had to do it by myself. Oh, this is a wrestling one, um, one of those shaker molds. She decided to sing it by myself, so basically, I went up there and sang it by myself, and that was my first and last solo at church. And so this is a mold. Now this one didn't pop out. This one went through fine with just the two outside plates. Put that in there. And so, and now, like I said, it was just an extra piece of paper from some other stuff I was cutting out to make some flowers and um, those miniature houses, you know, those Tim Holtz house guys. I made them. I haven't glued them together. Like I said, I have glue everywhere, y'all. But I can't find the glue. Well, I know where it is, but I don't want to go downstairs and have to climb up on the, the, the chair because I'm short and get it. So anyway, with these 3D dies, and I'm just showing you with this one because it was another die. But this one is still on here. This one is Mary and Mary Ble and Blessed. Mary and Bright. Oh, that's what it is. Mary and Bright. But this one was a we in a manger. But right here, you're just seeing, if you can see that it's 3D. I can take it a this. See? It has that. And then it has the slits on the side. And see, that was just, that's nothing wrong. It's just I didn't pull out all the dots. I was just playing around. And I was putting them in. I wanted to see how it looked and see how it worked. And this here is not going to be the final one, but I have to put a contrast. And so it's purple, but it's not shiny. I know you, y'all going to tell me like mother folks tell me, oh, Catherine, everything don't have to be shiny. It does. <laughs> okay, so like you can put these different little backdrops. I can either put this in or not. I see it would need to be on another frame, which is what I found out be on another frame and put it back there and make them all match and then see I have another silhouette of the nativity well I mean it's the same one it's just another one that was cut out and I put it gold and then these are purple and then you can put them all in there and you know I could put them on the back of something or I could put a string there and just let them hang from the string you know just y'all I'm learning and I'm trying to make sure I use the stuff I got to make sure one that it works and two that I'm just not wasting my money but I was so pleased and I was really this is the one where it is you know away in the manger I think I just showed y'all that didn't I and I'm gonna put that deer on something and then like I said this I'm, I'm gonna make more of these look at how simple that was but professional and I'll just tell you it's just fun and then you know when we were younger because I know a lot of us when we were younger these things just weren't available to the masses and I used to always want to be able to create and I was like if I could get something where it can just let me just do um, multiples and I can guarantee that people would get the same quality I would buy it and these give you that it gives you that quality Look at there. I mean, you, you just can't. Look at that shine. Nothing's flaking off like when I was in elementary school. <laughs> you know, but we, we got this opportunity now where we can have the fun and we can sell it. And I, I should be and I could be because there's so much I got and done. And like I said, when you got a husband who's not in arts and crafts and saying, like, look, your stuff is good stuff, you know, we should do more than just play and sit around and look at it. You know, you kind of, uh, you know, you, I just want to play with it. 
if I sell it, great. And if I don't, um, one day I'm going to show y'all how I organized my dies. I did buy one of these. Probably should have bought two. Because this is heavy. Even from the first video, I thought that was heavy. And it is heavy. But I'm going to show y'all one day. But right now, we're going to end this video so I can pack this stuff up. And we can all just relax. Bye.